just decide which way to go. I need advice. I've been wrong. It's just 'cause forces they have a way to cloud your mind. It's my lot in life to just resign. Oh, did you tell me she won't travel? Maybe in the starting part, and the monogram says I've done for you. I've been. What am I supposed to say? My talents and acquired taste—that's just what you say when you miss your train. I've been wrong. It's just close quarters there. Have a way to clash your mind. It's my lot in life to just resign. Oh, could you tell me? I-W-I-N. Let's get started. Okay, if you could all uh, turn to page. 128 in your textbook. We will be talking about different kinds of angles. Try to hold your enthusiasm. I know this is an exciting topic for each and every one of you. And there will be a pop quiz after. Sorry I'm late. Grab a seat. Is this seat taken? I'm sorry, did you say something? I was asking if this seat was taken, but now I'm more curious to know what you're listening to. No, it's not taken. So, what are you listening to? Just some indie band. You've probably never heard of them. Try me. Slow Haze? Yeah, you're right. I've never heard of them before. I'm Allison, by the way, but you can call me Allie. And you are- Oh, sorry about that. I'm Jacob, but you can call me Jake. Very proper of you, Jake. You're also known as the guy who's late to class. Yeah, that's also me. Well, um, I guess I'll see you in class sometime. You know, if you're not too late. All right. Wine for me and pink lemonade for you. Thank you. I almost forgot the best part. Popcorn! You're the best. I know, but I really wish you would let me help you. Oh, just stop. The doctor said it should be off in a couple days. It's just a sprain. I know, but I want to help. Would you just relax? Besides, the medication that he's got me on has got me feeling pretty great. Should you, um, really be drinking alcohol then? What did I just say? Fine. So, um, what movie are you in the mood for? We could watch the new Jennifer Aniston movie. She's looking pretty great in the trailer. <laughs> or we could watch the new Zac Efron movie. You know, for the straight woman in the room. Uh, you can't hate on Jennifer. You know when you're 50, you hope you look as good as her. Truth. But isn't Efron in that new romance? You hate chick flicks. You met someone. Who is it? What's his name? Why is it that every time I want to watch a rom-com that you think a guy is involved? Because I haven't been wrong. <laughs> Come on, spill already. His name is Jacob. I knew it. <laughs> So, when did you meet him? Today? Where? In class? And here comes the 20 questions. Hey, I'm just being a good friend. I like seeing you happy. Is that so wrong? Well, don't get too excited. We barely met. He was late to class and he found me on campus after. Ooh. He found you. How romantic. 
<laughs> Let's just watch the movie, okay? All right, but next time I choose the flick. Hey, I'm handicapped, remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, long time no see. Jake, right? Yeah. So, that notebook seems pretty important. What have you been working on? It's a project for my lit class. I have to create a list of things that I want to do this summer. That's weird. I mean, it's cool because it's something you'll actually use in real life, but how did that become a class assignment? Well, my professor was quoting Longfellow's poem, A Psalm of Life. My favorite line is, life is real, life is earnest, the grave is not its goal. Dust thou art to be dust returnest was, was not, not spoken, spoken of the soul. <laughs> I must admit, I'm pretty impressed. So you know your poets. Uh, I know some. I did enjoy some of his work whenever I took the class. What course are you taking? Uh, lit 3108 with Thomas Masters. Oh, I had Julie Smith. So is it just me or does this assignment sound oddly similar to a bucket list? <laughs> I mean, I never thought of it that way. Um, you have a point though but I personally would like to think of it in a less morbid way. Hey, just trying to help. <laughs> Can I read what you have so far? Sure, go for it. <laughs> I, I mean, this draft is pretty decent. Whoa, draft? I've been working on this for days and it's due next Tuesday. Well, I mean, this list is just like safe, you know, it's like child's play. Roll down a large hill, learn how to skip a rock, paint a portrait, come on. This is like G-rated stuff. Well, it's a good thing I'm not creating it for you, isn't it? I guess, but I just can't help feeling like there's more to you. Like, this is just surface stuff. More to me? You barely know me, we just met. Hey, okay, now you're right, but I wanna change that. C come on, let me help you. Let's dig deep, let's create a kick-ass list, and then let's do everything on it. What? Come on, you know you want to. I guarantee it'll be the best summer you ever had. You're right. I do play it safe a lot. I'm in. Yes! I'm, I mean, yeah, cool. Great. Mm -hmm. so let's get to work. I only have two weeks left. I have a couple assignments and exams, but overall things are slowing down, which is nice because I'm so ready for summer break. You should come home this weekend. <laughs> Mom, I would love to come home this weekend, but I can't. I have a project to finish, but you know I miss you. I'll come home as soon as I can. That is if work lets me, but until then, I love our Skype chats. I love our Skype chats too. <laughs> I love that you thought to get us matching computers so that we can Skype while you're at school. It's just not the same at home without you. I know. Are you talking to your mom? Yeah. Hi, Mrs. Foster. Hi, Melissa. Oh, I'm so happy you guys are such good friends after all these years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lesbo. <laughs> Melissa, is your arm in a sling? No, it's just a brace. I sprained it a couple weeks ago working out. It's no big deal. Well, I'm glad to hear it's nothing serious. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hey, did she tell you about her new bae? Baby? Her baby? I'm sorry, what? No. <sighs> bae, Mom. She said bae. B-A-E. Before anyone else. You millennials and your lingo. But no, she did not. It's nothing serious, Mom. It's just some guy I met on campus. Oh, it is serious. She journals about him. What? I know you do behind closed doors. His name is Jacob and he's helping her with her lit assignment. 
Oh, how nice. He sounds nice. That's what I've been telling her. You can just call him Jake, Mom, and we aren't exactly dating. He's just helping me on my assignment. But he's not in that class. He's not in that class, but he's in one of my classes. But not the class that gave you this assignment. Hmm. Interesting. And how romantic. Hey guys, I'm still here, and he's not in that class because he's already taken one. I'm sorry, I'm just so excited for you. So, is he a journalist major also? To be honest, I don't know. I've never asked him. <sighs> Honey, if he's your new bae, shouldn't you know a little more about him? <laughs> what? She said it, not me. <laughs> Either way, thank you. As annoying as you both are, I know you mean well. But we aren't dating. Yet. What? You know I'm right. You talking to Allison? Uh-huh. Hi, Allie. How you doing? I've been meaning to talk to you about something. And that's my cue to go. Yes, Mark. Allison, please. There's, um, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. The plant's been doing cutbacks due to new regulations, and the staff is running at minimum levels just to maintain the company's insurance. And the point is... Well, my insurance is being discontinued. What? What does this mean? Our insurance is being dropped? This can't happen. Mom, tell him this can't happen. You know on my medication, I have my appointments. Sweetheart, just listen to your dad. Step dad. Look, I know I hate that this is happening. This is really unfortunate. Um, there's, we're trying to figure something out. We'll try harder. We are, kiddo. But for the time being, it is what it is. It is what it is. Just great. But, Mark, you're like a plant director or something. There has to be something you can do. Sweetheart, it's not that simple. He's doing everything he can. How many refills of your prescription do you have left? I don't know. Probably a couple months worth or something. See? That's not so bad. And you've been on that medication since you were 12, so you may not need it anymore anyway. Well, I'd rather not play chicken with my emotions. I know, honey, that's not what I'm saying. Please, just try to be positive about this. <sighs> yeah, yeah. So, how long do we have till? Till the end of May. Mom, the end of May is in two weeks. I'm serious. And you know, technology has come a long way in 20 years. I can see your eye roll on high def. Get it, time. <laughs> okay, well, we have a dinner we have to get to. We can talk more later. Try to get into your psychiatrist, maybe discuss this. Well, I guess I do see her every few months and I'm due for a visit. See, being positive isn't that hard. Love you, Mom. I love you too, baby. Bye. I'm sorry. You know me. I heard everything. Are you gonna be okay? I think so. I guess I'll just try to stay positive and hope my mom is right. I hope so too. Hope you like iced coffee. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? Good, because only crazy people know. All right, let's see the damage you've done. Um, by damage, you better be meaning that good away. Of course. All right, this is looking a lot better. More promising, but I still feel like you're holding back. What? How so? I mean, where are some places you've always wanted to go? Things you've always wanted to experience? I mean, I've always wanted to go to Bonnaroo. That's a start. There's no way. Tickets are so expensive. Write it down. Hey, I'm serious. Write it down. Hold an owl? Yeah, I sort of, kind of, love owls, but um, I have no idea where to go that will even let me get close to one. Well, we'll see. 
I suppose. So, what's your story? What brings you here? Well, I'm an English major with a minor in journalism. I hope to one day work for the journal. That's awesome. So you love to write? I do. I enjoy writing about experiences. Rather than the experience itself. <laughs> Something like that. Well, we're going to change that. What about your family? My mom lives a couple hours away. Are you too close? Very. We Skype almost every day. And your dad? That's a long story. Well, I have time. Well, you see, my real dad passed away when I was young. Wow. That sucks. Yeah, it was hell, but I leaned a lot on my mom, and we got through it together. But, um, she remarried. Ah, so you didn't like the guy. <laughs> not at all. Still don't. Anything specific? Other than the fact that he's not my dad, but, yeah, I have my reasons. Especially now. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Oh, nothing. So, what's your story, Jake? Russell. Jacob Russell. <laughs> so proper. Yeah, my dad thinks so, at least. I sense sarcasm in your tone, Mr. Russell. I guess. It's okay. We don't have to talk about it. Um, so you mentioned you took a lit class? Are you majoring in English or journalism also? No. Uh, to be honest, I don't know exactly what I want to do quite yet. What? How are you in college without a major? Well, I'm fortunate enough to have parents that plan my future for me. I'm sorry, I was really trying to... No, it's okay. You told me about your family, so it's only fair. My family lives in New York. City? Yeah, and my dad's a lawyer at a big law firm. Wow. I guess. And he wants me to come work for him after I graduate. And you don't want that? Not exactly. Well, that explains your stalling graduation. Yeah, I'm kind of just trying to keep my options open. Must be nice to have your college paid for. Yeah. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Anyone would be fortunate to walk in your shoes. I suppose. It's just most days it feels more like a curse than anything. So what about you? What do you like to do out of class or when you're not doing class assignments? Well, I work at a local bookstore a couple days a week, but other than that, I'm a total homebody. Do you live on campus? My girlfriend and I rent a small house just outside. Girlfriend? Uh, do I need to back off? <laughs> I mean, I can. No, no. She's a childhood best friend of mine. Ah. But uh, girlfriends are kind of her thing. <laughs> gotcha. Not mine. <laughs> So, what is your thing, Miss Foster? You know, Mr. Russell, I'm still trying to figure that out. Well, if it involves food, I'd love to take you to dinner. <laughs> I do love food, but um, maybe you can come to my place and I can cook for us? Homebody, remember? Right, <laughs> right. So, you cook then? I know my way around the kitchen. All right, all right. But um, how does next Friday sound? That way we can celebrate the end of the semester. In our first date. Sounds great. Great. I'll bring the wine. Allison, it's so good to see you. Good to see you too. Tell me, what's new? Well, I don't really know where to begin. I'm losing my insurance. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. W what happened? I don't know. It's some new law at my stepdad's work. Hmm. So how are you handling this? <sighs> I'm better now, but I wasn't at first when he told me. Well, I know you're still on the medication, but perhaps we can slowly wean you off of it if that's something that you're interested in doing. Really? You think I'm ready for that? You're doing really well. But yes, I do think you're ready. And definitely that's an option we can take. Will there be any side effects? No, nothing should be different, but you can contact me if you notice any changes. Okay, let's do it. Okay. I sent your prescription over. 
I'd like to see you again in eight weeks. Okay. Is there anything else going on? Is there something else you'd like to talk about? Well, sort of. I was wondering what you thought about mixing alcohol with my medication. What kind of alcohol? Oh, just wine. You see, I... I sort of kind of met someone. Allison, that's great news. Uh, tell me all about him. Well, his name is Jake, and he's pretty great. Well, you certainly look very happy. T tell me, how did you both meet? We met on campus. He actually helped me with a project for one of my classes. Kind and helpful. Hmm. Sounds like you snagged a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> But I sense some hesitation. Well, it's the whole alcohol thing. I invited Mo for dinner, and he said that he would bring a bottle of wine. Is it really safe for me to drink? I admire your strong will and dedication. But you're in college. To be honest, I'm surprised you haven't drank yet. <laughs> you really think it's OK? Yes. Yes, I do. Especially since you'll be on the lower dosage. When is your dinner date? This Friday. Well, I hope you have a wonderful time. And please try not to worry about the lower dose. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are very welcome. See you later. Wow, look at you, <laughs> Chef Foster. Thank you. These are for you. Thank you, but you didn't have to. I know, but <laughs> I wanted to. And this is for us. Happy to pour us some. All right, I will show you where we keep the glasses. And that's why we call him Shark. Okay, I'll put you down. <laughs> well, that sure as hell makes a lot of sense. <laughs> More wine? Yes, please. Thank you, but I was gonna clean that up. All right, I cooked, you clean. But on our third date, I'll be the one that cooks and cleans. So you're interested in a third date? Maybe, but we should probably have a second date first. <laughs> Are you sure your major is in accounting? I'm sure. I'm also sure that you're good company. You're not so bad yourself. So you never told me where you live, by the way. I rent a condo off campus. Very nice. I guess I can say I'm not surprised. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means that I didn't picture you as some typical dorm living frat boy. Okay. Okay, you got me. <laughs> so now that the semester's finally over, what's the first thing we're going to do on your list? Wait. Seriously? Yeah, I told you we we're gonna make this happen. But you're not going home to New York? New York can wait. I'm totally serious. I keep my word. <laughs> okay, well, I'll go get the list. Don't drink much? Honestly, no. <laughs> it's okay. I've been there before too. <laughs> I can take care of you. We should get started. The list. Yeah, the <laughs> list, yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, so I was thinking about maybe doing one of these. Really? We'll start easy. <laughs> okay. I used to come here all the time with my dad. So you've been here before? We used to come to the beach, but I never had a chance to roll down the hill. And you really want to do this? 
Yes. All right. Well, let's do it. The life is what we're living now Enter, I'll show you how <laughs> That was way better than expected. Seriously? Seriously. You still want to learn how to skip a rock? Might as well, we're here. So displaced Really digging the blonde. Really? You like? Yeah. And I gotta ask. <laughs> What's that? Blondes really have more fun. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, what is this place? You'll see. <laughs> okay. Okay. Blindfold time. What? <laughs> I know. I know. Just trust me. <laughs> All right, let's go. Where are you taking me? <laughs> okay, we're here.
can't believe he took you to see an owl. Hold an owl. Exactly my point. I know. I feel like I'm living a dream. <gasps> Anyways, uh, how's your arm doing? Oh, it's doing better. I'd say it's pretty much healed. That's good. Just take it easy this time, okay? Yes, Mom. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds like you're having a lot of fun with Jake. I would, however, like to see you sometime. I know, I'm sorry, but even with the semester out, I'm still working a lot and spending my free time with Jake. Yes, yes. Jake, I know, but I would like to meet him too sometime. Yeah. Oh. What's wrong? No, nothing. Why do you ask? Because I know you. What's on your mind? I don't know. It's like, it's been too good to be true. Like I'm living a dream, watching someone else's story. No, I definitely saw my daughter online holding an owl with blonde hair, which I do love, by the way. Thank you, but see, I still can't believe that happened. That can't be the only thing that's bringing you down, hon. I suppose not. I just, I feel like it's not gonna last. Why, your relationship with Jake? Yeah, I mean, I have a week's worth of medication left and I'm just nervous. And without insurance, there's no way I can afford my appointments. I mean, starting a new relationship by itself is a lot to handle. But uh, your psychiatrist said that you were ready. I know, but I can't but feel otherwise. Allie, I love you so much. I am so proud of you. You've overcome so much already. I believe in you, and so does your psychiatrist. Never mind. I only have two pills left. But thank you, Mom. I appreciate it. It's just tough right now. I just feel like when Jake gets to know the real me, he's gonna leave. You cannot think that way, Allie. Please, just try to stay positive. I'll try. Good. My job here is done. Sometimes it's just so hard to be this far away from you. Please promise me that when your summer plans die down and your work schedule allows it, that you'll come visit me. Please. I promise. Love you, Mom. I love you too, sweetie. Please take care of yourself. I will. Talk soon. You sure you want to do this? Do something permanent is on the list. I know, but tattoo is a big commitment. I know, but I'm sure. I'm just getting small key anyways. I'll be able to hide it easily. All right, all right. So why the key? I feel free. Exactly. Are you taking me, Jacob Russell? Do you remember how on your list you wrote that you wanted to go cliff diving? Yeah. Before you get too excited, there aren't exactly too many cliffs in Ohio, and there's not really anywhere that's deep enough, but I think I found the next best thing. Really? Really. Wait, you remember to bring your swimsuit, right? Yes. Good. 
We've got a bit of a hike. This is gonna break me. And come on and shake me. I'm ready. I'm ready. I follow you into the dark. Cause I can feel your beating heart. Next to me. This is love. Okay, now we're here. Wow, this is absolutely stunning. So are you. Come on, let's go. scared me. Sorry. Wait, why is your hair wet? It's a long story, but I'll tell you about it tomorrow. I'm exhausted. Look forward to hearing it. Look at you, finally putting those dusty paints to good use. And look at you getting comfortable with walking into my house. <laughs> and that's a good thing, right? Indeed it is. So, um, what's the pleasure of this unexpected visit? Just seeing if you had checked your email recently. Email? What is this, 2013? <laughs> well, once you see it, you'll know why. Okay. No way. You're gonna have to stop saying that because I'm always going to say yes, yes way. But how, how did you manage this? Uh, I pulled some strings. We're seriously going? Yes, you and I have tickets to Bonnaroo. So pack your bags, we're leaving tomorrow. Wait, what's wrong? I work a shift this weekend. I'm sorry, I... I didn't even think to think No, to... no, it's not your fault. You didn't know. Although, 
Yeah? I could ask my coworker Brittany if she can cover for me. I think she's at work right now. I could always go ask her. That's a great idea. But... But what? She doesn't exactly like me. How come? Well, if you can believe it, we grew up in the same town going to the same school together. And well, we didn't always get along. Well, it doesn't hurt to ask. Come on, I'll go with you. Really? Yeah, let's go. The sooner you find out, the sooner that you can pack your bags. <laughs> if I haven't said it enough, you, Jacob Russell, are the best boyfriend in the world. I am, aren't I? <laughs> hey, Brittany. Isn't today your day off? It is, but I came to ask you something. I'm listening. Well, I was kind of hoping- Sorry, we haven't met. I'm Jake, Allie's boyfriend. So I've surprised her with something really special tomorrow night, and I would greatly appreciate it if you would be so kind to take her shift tomorrow. I guess. Really? Yeah, but don't ask again or I will say no. Thank you so Thank much. You. I'll go handle the paperwork so you don't have to worry about a thing. Whatever. Okay, I'll be right back. Take all the time you need. I'll be right here. <laughs> I'll just take one second. I'd be careful around her if I were you. Pardon? I'm referring to Allie. Her and I went to grade and high school together. Yeah, I know. She mentioned it. She did? Well, did she tell you how her dad died? You ready to go? Yeah, yeah, I am. Thank you so much again, Brittany. I'll definitely make it up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, see you later. Bye. So, this is happening. You're finally going to Bonnaroo. I know. I can't believe it myself. You know, if I wasn't your best friend, I'd be pretty damn jealous of you. Well, it's a good thing you're my best friend. Oh, hey, don't forget those. It doesn't matter. I ran out a couple weeks ago and forgot to pitch the bottle. You'll be okay. I promise. Hey, what do you think of this? Nah. You know, you can't go wrong with a bralette. Right? Do you have anything else? Yes. That is perfect. Well, it looks like I'm going to better. <laughs> You can believe it. Hey, Jake. Yeah? I love you. I love you too.
Brittany, you scared me. Good. What are you doing here anyways? Today's your day off. I'm just here to see how my coworker is doing. Yeah, right. No, really, I wanna know how your date was last night. Well, if you want me to be completely honest, it was absolutely amazing. Of course it was. Anyway, I best be off. I have things to do on this beautiful day. It's nice chatting with you. Today was so strange. How come? You remember my coworker, Brittany, right? Mm-hmm. Well, she came in to see me. That's odd. Did she have to work today? No. Was she just coming in to switch a shift or something? No, I honestly don't know the point of her visit. Hmm. But um, the whole thing was just strange. Yeah, that's odd. Oh, um, I spoke to my mom a couple days ago, and she really wants me to come visit her soon. Sounds good. So when are we going? Wait, Lee? You'd really come with me? Of course. I'd love to meet your family. Yes, even your stepdad, too. Well, I'm off this weekend if you're free. Great. Tell your mom we'll come this weekend. Alice, can I ask you something? Of course. Anything. How did your dad die? If you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to. No. No. Um, you should know. When I was five years old, my dad, he, um, he shot himself. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. He, um, he had severe depression and eventually got the best of him. Hey, Jake. Yeah? That's not everything. Oh? There's more. Depression, mental illness, whatever you want to call it. Well, it sort of runs in my family. When I was 12, I was diagnosed with a mood disorder. And how do you feel now? I think I'm getting better. I'm working on my confidence and well, because of you, you're helping. I was on medication, but my doctor recently took me off of them. So that's good news. That means you're better, right? I hope, but um, as you can see when most people would be thrilled to have their medication stopped. I can't help but feel leery of my future, knowing with what happened in the past with my dad. Allie, you're not your dad, and I'm sure your doctor knows you best. Thank you for trusting me. I love you. I love you too. Mom, Mark, we're here. <gasps> Sweetheart. Hi, Mom. Oh. 
It is so good to see you. Jake, it's so nice to finally oh. meet you. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Of course. This is my husband, Mark. Hi. Let's go sit down and catch up. <laughs> you like knives, Jake? I do. Want to see my collection? Sure. Those two really seem to be hitting it off. <laughs> You'd think, but Jake has no idea about knives. Really? Yeah, he's just being polite. He comes from a law firm family in New York. He really fooled me. He seems really great, Al. Thanks, Mom. I really am happy. I can tell. So, you aren't feeling any side effects from your medication? Well, I've been off them for about three weeks now. And how's it going? I think so far so good. See, what did I tell you? Jake seems really good for you. Thanks, Mom. That means a lot. Thank you so much, Mom, for letting us stay this weekend. It was so great seeing you. You are both welcome anytime. You know that. It was really great meeting you, sir. I've heard a lot of good things about you. Thank you. It was great meeting you. You guys drive safe. Thanks. We will. Bye. See you guys later. Bye. Love you. Love you too. So, did you want popcorn or ice cream tonight? Actually, hold on a sec. Okay, sorry about that. That was Jake. And you told him we have plans tonight, right? Of course. Don't worry. Oh, good. I know you want the guy, but I miss my BFF. I know. I miss you too. And besides, he understands. Good. And we can get ice cream this time since we had popcorn last. Good, because that's what I was thinking too. Okay. See you at home. See you soon. So how's being off meds? You know, I actually feel kind of normal, if that's even a thing. <laughs> what is normal anyway, right? But I guess I really didn't have anything to worry about. See, what did your mom and I say? I know, I know. Oh, um, it's my mom. I'm gonna take this. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Hey, Mom. Hi, Allie. Is now a good time to talk? Yeah, Mel and I are just hanging out at the house tonight. Oh, good, good. What's going on? <laughs> mom? <clears throat> Allie, I'd like to see you soon if I can. Sure. Um, I'll have to get my work schedule tomorrow. But why? What's up? We just saw you last weekend. Please, just, can you come as soon as you're able to, please? Mom, you're scaring me. I want to know what's going on. Is it Mark? I swear to God if he hurt you. No, no, it's nothing like that. <clears throat> okay, then what is it? I just, I would really like to see you in person. Mom, I want to know now. I'm not getting off this phone until you tell me. Oh. I found a lump in my breast the other day. No. I'm so sorry, honey. 
Mom, don't you dare apologize. What do you have to be sorry for? This isn't happening. No, no, I just saw you a couple days ago. Sweetheart, I'm gonna fight this. I'm gonna give it all I've got. And what is your doctor saying? This can't be happening. This this isn't happening. Is everything okay? Allison, I love you. I love you so. No, Mom, please don't talk this way. Please. try. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. My mom. My mom. She's cute. I'm so sorry. a drink. You sure? I'm sure. Okay. We're going out. Ladies, what do you have? A shot of the strongest thing you got.
Yeah, she's with me. Not like that. Uh, that's my best friend, Allie. She got some bad news today, and she's not really taking it well. Couldn't tell. I'll be right back. I think you should take your friend home. I try to do things different ways But it just hurts and I hate the pain Life is pain, I think that's the phrase The drugs are meant to take it away I've only learned how tolerance goes up and not the other way If it's all we can read If it's all we can see Tell me Is that not all we can be? If it's all we've been told To go after the goal Tell me, what's the point of a soul? <laughs> you we know. all have those days, so. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. Yeah. Oh, I need to poop. Yeah, it's really good for you. Mm. You really did great. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll just lift it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I think it's better, you know. So, you know, <laughs> I swear. Yeah. So we'll have to go grab some food later or something. Yeah. Do you like a drink or like? Oh, I can. I can try it. Yeah, it's really good. It's fruity and. Mm. Usually I drink wine, but oh yeah, knew that. Oh, this is nice though. <laughs> switch it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Every once in a while, you know. Ellie, you're up. Um, this is Sarah. Sarah, Ellie. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> dinner. Yeah. <laughs>
What are you doing here? And boy, do you look like hell. Is Mr. Roberts here? Allie? Are you okay? We haven't heard from you in the past couple of weeks since your roommate called. Mr. Roberts, thank you for this job, but I quit. Allison, are you sure? I'm sure. I'm sorry. I have to go. I noticed your car was gone when I got home. Are you okay? I did good at cooking these. You did? I'm the best cook I did. Mm -hmm. Just fine. Yeah. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. Almost as good oh. as the drink. What about the oil? Let's see who that is. Sure. Hi, Mr. Foster. Hi, Melissa. I wanted to touch base with you and see how things have been going at home. It's been weeks since Allie and Janet have spoken. Well, I'm going to be straight with you. She hasn't been doing well. I think she quit her job. She hasn't spoken to Jake in weeks either. And she hasn't even really left the house. And between you and me, her hygiene isn't really up to social standards either. Don't get me wrong, I love her. And I can't imagine what she's going through. Plus not being on medication. I know. Well. Thanks for the update, Melissa. You're welcome. How's Mrs. Foster doing? Well, she's seen better days. The chemo is making her body very weak. But she's a fighter. She's not giving up without a fight, that's for sure. Well, that's good. I mean the fighting part, not the weak. I just really hope Allie comes and sees her mom soon. I know. I hope so too. I've tried talking to her, but she doesn't want any company. To be honest, I'm really concerned about her. She hasn't been eating much either. Well, please don't give up on her. I know you're doing what you can. You're a good friend, Melissa. Please, don't thank me. I am Allie's best friend. I know she'd do the same for me. Well, keep me updated on her. And you do the same with Mrs. Foster. I will. Talk to you soon. Bye. So your BFF's with my stepdad now? Allie, I didn't hear you. And no, it's not like that. He was calling to check up on you. Him and your mom are really worried about you. Worried? About me? I'm not the one with cancer, am I? No. I'm not the one who has toxins killing me on the inside. Do I? Not exactly. And I'm not the one who's lying in a hospital bed waiting to die, am I? You should really go see her. No. No. I said no! Fine. I won't touch you. But you're scaring me. And Jake, for that matter. Yeah, Jake, you remember him? The boyfriend that you haven't spoken to in weeks? Allie, your phone's been off and he's been texting me. Come on, just let us help you. No, no, 
I don't need anyone's help. Allie, Jake loves you and he just wants to take care of you. Like you have? You know I hate Mark. Why the hell are you talking to him? Yeah, that's right. My stepdad is to blame for all of this. His insurance was dropped and he's racking up hundreds of thousands of dollars of medical debt right this second. Well, at least he's there helping her. Wow, wow. Ellie, come on, that wasn't supposed to be an insult. No? You know what? Fuck you. You don't mean that. No, no, I do. Fuck school, fuck the job that I just quit, fuck cancer, and you know what else? What? Fuck life. I don't believe you. Well, believe it, because this is the new me. No, no. That's not right. This was me all along. Perhaps I was a zombie being drugged all the damn time. Ellie. <sighs> don't alley me. I'm done. Please, don't say that. No, I mean it. I am done. Come on, don't do this. He didn't mean those awful things you said. Leave me alone!
Ellie. friend she, she swallowed a bunch of pills okay i need you to tell me is she conscious oh i can't feel her pulse all right ma'am try to stay calm what is your location it's 51 72 oakshade drive just get here now No, I understand. You guys had to get back. I know Mrs. Foster's health isn't great. It was great seeing you guys. Even under the circumstances. I know, but I wish it could have stayed longer. Please, I'm going through her stuff now. Jake's on his way. I'll come down when I'm able to help. I know, Mr. Foster. Thanks, Melissa. You're welcome. We'll talk soon, and send my love to the missus. You bet. Bye. Hey. Can I get you anything? I've been going through stuff all morning, but if it's okay with you, I'd like to go get something to eat. Yeah, absolutely. This, this is a lot to handle. Yeah, it is. It's all my fault. It's not your fault. I wasn't here either. You can't blame yourself. But I can. They were my pills. Why did you have pills? I... I hurt myself. 
Hey, how about you go ahead and get some lunch? Clear your head. I can take over from here. I should have been here for you, Allie. I, I should have been here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, Melissa. Sorry I missed you. I just wanted to let you know that I was headed home. I had some packing of my own to do. I'll help you when I get back, but there's something else I had to do first. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.
This is for you, Allie. This is for you. Tell me that I'm wanted